so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over! Open up, we're here! Okay, you're yelling like so loud. OMG! OMG, we're up really high! Downtown Los Angeles. <laughs> it's really high up. It's amazing, but don't look down. You guys know that we have our show, OMG, We Bought a House. This is OMG, We're Coming Over, where we go into the homes of famous digital celebrities. Yes, and today we are at Andrea Brooks's high-rise apartment in LA. You may know her as Andrea's Choice on YouTube. Yes. Massive YouTuber. Hello, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. She does beauty and DIY videos. She's super popular. really needs help with her bedroom because she moved into this apartment and never pulled it together and she films all of her videos in that room. We're so excited to do this room for beautiful Andrea and you know what else we're excited about? Subscribing! You guys subscribe because we're trying to get to 1 million subscribers so please hit that button. Be a part of our family. Yes! Let's go check it out. We're gonna make it beautiful and glamorous. Contemporary. Let's go! Yeah. It looks wow. pretty much okay. <laughs> I feel extra short now. We're the same height. We've already exactly discussed this. You're five one. Right? Yes. I love it. We are a lot short, short people. I love live short longer. ladies. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I'm married to one. <laughs> So Kate and Joey just arrived. I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous because I have really bad luck with like releasing control over to other people. But I have faith in Kate because I feel like we kind of have similar styles. The room looks like when we were here last. I've lived here for one year and I've never really had the time to like fully decorate my bedroom. The problem is is that I film in here so it has to look nice, but it's such a big area that I never really knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. I love the, the cow skull. Obviously it's faux, vegetarian. It is <laughs> vegan. <laughs> vegan, right, of course. And I did order some things that I really liked, like yeah. online, and my bed was really low too. You can tell a short person. <laughs> I've never purchased anywhere to store my stuff. Yes, all your makeup, samples, everything. I really like whites and neutrals. This way I can kind of control what pops of color I want. All that I know is that I want it to be neutral so that I'm able to like switch out pops of color. I want to be able to film in my room from any direction because it's filled with stuff. Instead of me being committed to a certain color scheme, like I don't like painting my walls crazy colors. Yeah. Right, hotel glam, multifunctional. Awesome space. With touches of my personality. Of course. Oh, yeah. Kate, a lot Kate's of great at that. High five. You are good at that. Let's do this. Aww, Let's do this. Thanks, High five. God. Joey! So since you are a DIY goddess, just makes sense that we start the first project DIY style. Perfect. While Joey's prepping the boring stuff. You told me that you love glitter. I love glitter, metallics. Kate's telling me that she wants to do like some glitter art. And I'm like, yeah, I love glitter. Girl, me too. Because we're trying to go super classy, glamorous with your room, I didn't want to go like traditional small glitter. What would glitter look like under a magnifying glass? By it would be glitter. like big. <laughs> I like big glitter. We could create the look of magnified glitter with good old aluminum foil. This is a wood canvas, which I like because it's just more durable. If we tried to do this on a regular canvas, it could get a little saggy. And I painted the sides white. Well, it can't just be any crumple. It has to be the right kind of geometrically shaped crumple. As she starts crumpling it together and like setting it down, it starts to really come together. And then it was like, I understood where her mind was. It looked so... Good. Then I have this, which is this mirror effect spray paint. Oh! It'll kind of change the look of the tin foil a little bit, so it's not, oh, that's tin foil on your oh, wall. It looks be. more like metal. I love how open you are to this. Did you um, see what my room looked like before? I just had actual tin foil laying around, like old food. Yeah, turn that shit into art. <laughs> First things first, let's get some paint on these walls. I wanna give you a subtle wall color change. In our color palette plan of playing with neutrals and stuff like that, the subtleties of like wall color really do make a big difference. Mm -hmm. So Andrew's apartment, like a lot of rentals, it's just painted white. Right now you have kind of like a, almost white. like an ivory, right? It looks like, well, I'm bright white. I'm a Caucasian, so we can. <laughs> 
We talked about making this like a feature wall, right? Since you're a renter, it's easier to paint over a painted technique. Of course, you know I'm a fan of DIY. I thought, why not DIY a pattern on the wall? And the perfect thing to do that is a stencil. I have never stenciled. Right. Okay, well can this Can I start is painting? Well, Between I the stencil and the painting, it's gonna take us forever. You guys can do the stencil, I'll do the painting. So I'm really excited about the stencil that Kate is doing on my bedroom right now. I've never had stencil. I never even really thought to do stencil on my wall. It was always like a color or wallpaper, but she's kind of like merging the two. I drew it here, scanned it in, filled it in, obviously, because I want these areas to be the negative space. It kind of reminds energy. me of like a giraffe. Oh, I see that. I love giraffes. No way. That's my giraffe noise. I got the same wall color, but in a semi-gloss. Uh, did I open the right one? You did. You, you gotta tell me these things. Okay. What? How many times have we had this conversation? When I'm doing the projects, you have to tell me the details. How many times have we had this conversation where you have to listen to me? Because guess what, dude? I did tell you this project. Andrew, excuse me. I just want you to know that we actually do love each other. <laughs> I thought you were gonna come slap her. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna give her a glamorous, elegant backdrop. It has to be a light gray with a warm undertone. So it's luxe and glamorous and not too cold. So tapey tape. All right, I'm gonna start. Yeah, go. Yeah. You're just gonna go down, exactly. We should kick her out. But she's having so much fun. And then hey, me and Joey really knows how to be a party pooper. I actually have some things to do today, so I'm going to go do them. That sounds like uh, I'm gonna go watch Game of Thrones in the other bedroom. I might do that too. <laughs> the quicker you get out of here, the quicker we get okay, this done. Right. I'm out of here. Get excited. 56 and a half. My lady. <laughs> So these are the little rolly guys. Oh my god, they're like toy trains. Okay, you don't care, whatever, great. See you later, bye. Have fun up there, cool. Good talk. So we got these cool flush mount curtains that are a track that runs across the ceiling. She's got a cement ceiling, which is a little tricky, but I got my masonry bits and I can just get those in. I'm gonna get sweaty, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get those curtains up, folks. Part of this project is we're raising the whole room up because everything in here is really low. She had her TV on this little stand, is way too low, not enough space. We're gonna mount that TV, get it off the stand, clean it up with a nice cable hider. So we'll mount that and paint it the same color as the walls. It just automatically upgrades the room. Cool. Okay. What? I'm here. I come bearing the most Dude. beautiful knobs you've ever seen. Those are so cool. And look, each one is unique. Oh man. Oh. Those are awesome, I want yeah. these. Stud earrings. We found the most amazing knobs you've ever seen on planet Earth. I don't even actually think they're from planet Earth. I think they're from some beautiful, fabulous planet. What's half of 25 and a half? I don't do that. I'm gonna get this as exact as possible, but I'm not a cabinet maker. I know you think I am, but. Uh, I never said that. All right, here goes nothing. What do you mean here goes nothing? Here goes important things. <laughs> We're gonna sort of pimp it out by drilling custom holes in it and putting these really funky knobs. And it's really taking this piece that's inexpensive and just upping the quality a million. A million dollars. I'd pay a million dollars for that. Those knobs made this very heavy. Perfect. So Andrea gets a ton of makeup samples. She also has clothes that she needs to put away in some drawers. So this media console slash dresser is the perfect piece of furniture for that. Kate got this giant floor to ceiling mirror that we're gonna mount on the wall. It's gonna be perfect right next to the door to the bathroom, right next to the vanity space. I think this is the prettiest desk I've ever seen in my yeah, life. It's amazing. Do you know what style this is? Luxury. Parsons. Andrea needs a desk slash vanity. Some place where she could edit on her laptop, but then also some place where she could put on her makeup. You sit at it and you're just like, wow, okay. I'm gonna make some money at this desk. It's in a champagne color. But obviously it doesn't have that many drawers. It just has these for her like pens, pencils. Where's this going? But that, yeah, for here, because it has these drawers with these little label thingies. And on those labels, I am writing lips, eyes, face. That can be where she can organize and have some favorites. Successful. No, Joey, no, don't no, rest on this. Go, go build the bed, go build the bed. If you're tired, go build a bed. Ugh. But don't sleep in it. 
A tree or a plant is a really, really nice item to bring into any room. You want to have that organic element to juxtapose all of the furniture that you have going on, and fiddle leaf figs are one of my favorite things to use in any design. They have big, beautiful green leaves. Okay, so I love the magnified glitter art as the center. And then we have a bunch of options. I think we should just do like a, another piece of art right here that just says, dinner's done. Somebody got leftovers. Let's call that leftovers. <laughs> Don't be fooled, that thing would be hanging in the art gallery in downtown LA in a second. That is some hip modern art, folks. I love that picture. Well, of course you love this picture. It's two cats. And I love, but I also love how you did the brush strokes on the edge. Well, yeah, I did that because there so was like cool. some white border from when you printed these. Yeah, but that's so cool. It was just a quick fix. The gallery wall has that very contemporary look. Andrea has a lot of friends. She's well loved. I'm gonna add some black and white photos of her friends, pets, travel. She's been to some awesome places. This is like just a standard carpet on the floor here, so we're gonna jazz it up with a little fluffy rug. Love a little fluffy rug. Love a little hug with my love on the fluffy rug. Oh gosh, it's oh. heavenly and glam. Okay, I know it's coming. <laughs> oh no. Let's Let enjoy just... our wall. Let's enjoy our wall. Oh yeah, I know. Can we just talk? Ow! Oh. That wall looks amazing. Laying on this rug. It turned out better than I imagined. We used the semi-gloss paint so that it's the same color as the walls, but it has a sheen to it. It looks better than any wallpaper we would have used, so I'm so glad. Joey, we don't have time for this. Why do we do these in one day? Because you say so. <laughs> yeah, well they have to get done in one day, so come on. Wow, Stop how messing quickly around. he changes his tune. Wow. Before Andrea had, I think, a full, looked a little small, it was low to the ground. We're bringing in the queen's bed. I mean, it's a queen bed, but it's also the queen, Andrea's bed. We needed to bring in matching side tables because in order to get that contemporary hotel look, they've got to match. And then we got some glass made perfectly for the top, so it really just luxes up those side tables that were a thrift store find and now look like a million bucks. We also added some heavy brass knobs. Just those little touches make them look like completely new pieces. Got your corner? Oh, all of a sudden acting like you know how to do this. Do you have your corner? Who taught you this? My mom. Did she? You know what this looks like to me. No, oh, Joey, Joey, let Andrea be the first one on her bed, not you. <laughs> Can I please try it? Why can't I try the bed? I just want to make sure that it's comfortable. Can I try it? Ugh. We can do military corners. Okay, you can do military corners, because I don't know what those are. I'm making the bed really luxurious with layered linens. I'm not using a matchy-matchy set because I really want it to look sophisticated and well-designed. Don't just use the standard size rectangle pillows. Get some European squares. They are the same price as regular pillows. Make sure you get those European square sham pillowcases to go with it. And that just gives you that hotel look. So we really have to highlight her windows with a conversation area. And I found the most amazing chairs, pleated blush pink, like the palest pink you've seen. They have a brass base to them that swivels. I am giving her, next to the dresser, a basket with some throw blankets and an extra throw pillow so she can get cozy on those chairs. Above the side tables, I wanted to give her some art because that really gives it a hotel look. So I got these brushed silver frames with mats and then inside I just painted some really simple watercolor palm fronds because she lives in LA after all. Andrea has three pets. She has a dog and two cats. So we gotta give them a place to sleep. This little dog bed was so perfect because it's really fluffy and cute and it's in our color palette, so I had to get it and stick it in the corner. Should I cover my eyes? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cover scared. Ready? Before I cover my eyes and walk into the room, I told Kate, I was like, even if I love it, I'm not a screamer. Oh, don't look, don't peek. Whoa, don't hit your head, don't peek. Well, guess what happened when I walked in? At your leisure. One, two, three, three. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> she literally shrieked. I think I screamed a couple times, actually. Oh my, my god! Oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god, look at my room! Oh my god. <laughs> are you, are you 
you're like scared of me. You're like, God. I am so. This is the cutest room I've ever been in in my entire life. I would agree with that. <laughs> even like the friends that decorate really good. Yeah. Their rooms weren't even this good. Yeah. I mean, I've never been there, but I agree. Of course she loves it. It's amazing. Look at your it's, new hutch it's a with dresser, those. Joey. Or a dresser, Joey. He loves to call it a hutch. Those sweet gold dip knobs. Slabs of stone. Lush chairs. Oh. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> Right at first when you guys were gonna like paint my walls. I really like having white walls, but like this is the perfect color. Glam. To... All these yeah. neutrals playing on each other. It's dimension, it's glam. You can change out the throw pillows, you can bring in Pops color. I just painted those two palm leaf things to represent LA. Oh my God, it's like you're in my room. But, but like... Your guys' crazy cool abstract art. I know, I love that. This desk is epic, like I the know. finish on it. That actually is leafed with champagne leaf. And then look, I just put in those placeholders, the little labels, your favorites could be in there on rotation. This is like 20 times better than like what I was envisioning in my head. I didn't know it was gonna like look like a royal yes, bedroom or it something. Does. Like, it's kind of like a really good dream. Like, you know when you have a good dream that like you live in this perfect house and then you wake up and you're like, Aw, I'm still there. Like that's still my bedroom and I'm awake. It's great. OMG, we came over, high fives. Oh God. <laughs> I'm so happy that Kate and Joey took the time out of their schedules to do this for me. Can't wait to do a room tour. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Oh, good job, Joey. Once again, you killed it. You killed it. We she killed it. You did a great job. She loves it. <laughs> we pat on the back. Pat on the back. No, you pat your back. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> this was super meaningful for me because I am friends with Andrea and I know how hard she works and she's so awesome on YouTube. You got to check out her channel, Andrea's Choice. I'm so glad that she loves her room. It's so glamorous and beautiful like her. Go subscribe to her channel. Watch all of our great vids and please subscribe to our please. channel. We want to reach 1 million subscribers before the end of the year. We're using hashtag MrKate1 million. So just click that subscribe button and be part of our creative weirdo family. It would mean so much to us and the team and it will enable us to keep making these videos for you guys. So Be part of that first million, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Come join the family. Yeah. Don't just watch without subscribing. Watch and subscribe. We got yeah. more OG. We're coming over. <laughs> A ton of other great videos. Comment. Thumbs up. We'll see you later. Thanks so much. We love you. Love you too. Lo oh, love you too. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> You've watched us transform space after space, and now it's your turn. If we get to 1 million subscribers by the end of the year, one lucky subscriber is gonna win a $10,000 room transformation in your very own episode with Mr. Kate. Kate. Not only that, but for every 100,000 subscribers we add by the end of the year, we are giving $1,000 to a charity that helps those in need find homes. If we get to 1 million subscribers by the end of this year, this could be you. Ah! It's perfect. Oh my God. Oh. All it takes is going to youtube.com backslash Mr. Kate and clicking one small button. So join our family of creative weirdos and subscribe to help make a difference in the lives of others and a chance to have your dream space realized with Mr. Kate. Oh.